Okay, John, this is the trailer that we put the gravity wave detector in. I'm going to walk up the ramp here. Hopefully I don't fall off while I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> okay. Let's take a step in here. This is basically all equipment that we use for working on this system. That's a uh, ion ionization gauge and a pump system for doing spectroscopy in a vacuum. And over here we're working on an electromagnetic suspension system for the table that holds the gravity wave. These are giant electromagnets that are powered by an amplifier that can lift a couple of hundred pounds a piece. And we've got four of those that are going to be put on this granite table which is suspended on tires. And uh, Basically, this is the gravity wave system, and this is where the laser diode is. It gets coupled into an optical window, and inside this tube, it's evacuated with liquid nitrogen. And inside there is a quartz tube like this, with a fiber wrapped all the way along it. And then on the other side of the fiber system, there's a very sensitive photomultiplier, which picks the signal up. This is the power supply for the photomultiplier. This is just to measure the power in the laser diode. This is a dB meter. Down below the table, we have the power supply for the laser diode. It only draws half an amp, but this thing can go up to 25 milliamps extremely regulated. Then over here we have a phase lock loop amplifier that amplifies the signal from the photomultiplier which has already been amplified. It's a 25 dyne photomultiplier. This is a phase lock loop system. And then we come over here and we've got three different types of oscilloscopes. I got a digital one, but I really like the old analog one because it's very fast. Even though this digital goes up to gigahertz, it still has to do some kind of crazy stuff to figure out what's going on. You know, just old time school. And this goes into the gigahertz too. This is another type of scope. So we got three different types of sampling. And then I also have a little test generator that I use and a speaker system if I want to go in the audio range. And that's, that's the whole system. The rest of the stuff has got lasers and things in here for some other experiments that we're doing. This is a YAG system, a femtopulse laser. Let's see what we got down here. I'll show you some other stuff, John. This is a dye work over here where we do some laser stuff for for dyes in this little trailer. This is really interesting. This is a tunable single frequency system from Lambda Physics. And let's see, I'll open it up. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but this has got a tunable grading electronic the dyes go in here and the laser beam comes out on the other side and it's single frequency you can go all the way from infrared up to ultraviolet with this system this is a flash lamp pump dye laser over here we're doing some fiber optic work with and this is a detector for that gigahertz detector anyway the main focus of this little crazy demo was to show you the 
fiber optic system and it's pretty well sensitive so far and this is just a, a mini system we want to scale it up and make this laser fiber system about 15 feet long and have a tube diameter of, with a fiber wrapped on it about the size of this one okay and we're going to build another vacuum system with that fiber system in it this is a neodymium YAG laser over here okay that's it see you later John hope you like the little demo in the video no there's no radiation but sometimes we use it for some other things we're doing okay that's it See you later, John.